All right, in this video, I'm gonna give you three big, fat, sweaty tips on how to paint hair. Hi, welcome to Paint Coach. I'm Chris Fornatero, here to help simplify oil painting so you can get better, faster. All right, tip number one, block out the hair first. Now this starts early on in the very beginning stages of blocking out the hair. Um, Think of it first as just one general mass, and then from there, just the clumps of hair. I see a lot of times people get too caught up in wanting to draw each individual hair. And just like how you draw or paint anything, block in the major shapes first. Get the major shapes of the major clumps of hair, and then as you go through the painting, you get more detailed and more detailed. So if you don't have these general shapes blocked out correctly and in the right places with the hair and how it flows, it's gonna throw off everything else. Tip number two is value. Make sure your values are correct. This means that in the hair, it's very easy to make the lights too light a lot of the times because you get so caught up in doing the hair that you see these highlights in the hair and you want to make them you know really strong because that's how you think you see them and you're not looking at the hair in relative to the portrait as a whole so in conjunction with this you want to not just do the hair all the way through till completion to move on to the next thing i recommend if painting anything to always be working the painting as a whole move around from different parts and see how things are working with each other you want to see the hair in relation to everything else. Another way of checking your values is to put your reference photo in black and white and then take a picture of your painting while you're painting and put it in black and white and make sure you're not getting too brights with those highlights or too darks with the darks in the hair. Tip number three is put the background of your painting in in the beginning stages. One is it's helpful just in painting in general to know what color your background is while you're painting because it will influence the colors and the values in your painting and you need to be constantly referencing how it's looking compared to you know the background that's going to be in it also in particular for hair this is very helpful because it allows you to paint soft edges while that background paint is still wet you can use the paint you're using for your hair on the edges to paint into that wet paint and it gives you a soft edge which works really good for hair a lot of people have these harsh uh, lines and edges when they're painting hair and it just doesn't look natural because hair when you get down to it is you know a bunch of you know millions of little hairs and it light shines through it and it's a lot of times it's soft on the edges and there you go those are my three top tips for painting hair I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or any aspects of oil painting that you would like to know more on, please let me know in the comment section. I will make a video on it. You can uh, follow me on Instagram at Forza43 and Facebook at Paint Coach. I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.